Hey, you guys. <laughs> I know, right? I do not actually have a video to do today. So guess what I figured I would do? I am going to do a what's on my workstation. But before I do that, let me say good morning, everyone. This is Miss D at D Special Things. Um, thanks for coming to my channel. Okay, that's early morning speak, okay? <laughs> I've been up for a minute, but am I awake? Awake? Yeah. <laughs> that word. Anyway, too, too early for me to even think about that. But I figured... Hey, I'm not going to, I have a lot of stuff around me, you guys, so I think I'm going to tell you guys what's in my plans for today, because when I say I have loads of stuff around me, I'm going to show you, per se, what's on my workstation, but really is not on my workstation, it's around my workstation, it's beside me, it's stacked up over in the corner. I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to clean this mess up and then show you, do a video where I'm showing you the actual mess I have in here. But anyway, yes, I ha I do have a lot of things going today. I actually have a, hey, thumbs up my video. <laughs> like if you're, um, yeah, if you like. Right. But anyway, I'll just tell you what I am planning to do for until I get all this stuff done because I'm realizing as long as I'm trying to keep up I can't and I don't have any other thing to do okay let me make sure I am I just figured out my problem with uh, uploading and it was me <laughs> yeah but anyway you guys I am going to do this let's see see I am going to just show you what I'm working with on my workstation and I'm going to write some notes here while I show you all so that I can remember to make a tutorial let me write it on this little piece of paper I still need a piece of paper because I want to show you something that I came across honestly you'll get lost in my craft room right now so I'm going to make some kind of sense of it let's see what this is this is boom, stuff I haven't used in like forever that's old stuff so I could pull it out okay let me get a piece of paper because I want to show you or maybe I should do it on a blank yeah let me do it on a blank piece of paper so I can show you exactly what I came across but let's see I know I have to do some stuff today I like to do stuff in <laughs> an orderly fashion even though you can't tell it from my desk but you guys I am trying to get back into doing my videos um so <sighs> I mean I've been gone for about a few weeks but that's because I couldn't get my um, computer up and running and I finally did and that was a lot of work so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show you stuff that is kind of on my workstation or stuff that I need to complete or start it or uh, I set aside a, you know all of my products to do this project but never got around to doing it it's a lot so what I'll do is show you a few of them and um yeah, then I'll come back and I'll do an actual video with that project here. Yeah, so, um, I am, what am I doing? I'm trying to finish up some gnomes over here, you guys. And I do have the one for the giveaway. And she is right here. I have to put lace on her. And I, I can't, I couldn't find my pair of scissors, you guys. Uh, you know, the scissors, the scissors, the little small metal scissors, and I wanted a couple of those on her, so of course, I ordered them last night because I was trying to figure out stuff that I needed to complete 
I couldn't find those little scissors, so yeah, I went to Amazon because I knew they had them. But um, those, that's what I'm working on there. And then I have right here, I am actually doing a wedding book for my niece. And I'm working on it page by page. I don't even have the front cover done yet. I don't even have the book constructed. I picked out the papers. I picked out lettering. I think I'm going to use some of these dazzles and you know I'll show you how they work. I got I have more I need to look through. I think this has a lot of the words I might want to use. Well love you and lots of hugs and friend and Hello there, and my friend. Yeah, missing our time together. Yeah, but anyway, those have a lot of the words on it that I may want to use. And her wedding is... Her wedding already happened. She had it during the pandemic. Um, but her wedding colors are black, white, and gold. So I have loads of ideas that I might come across. This is one of those Dollar Tree outfits and I'm going to go back and see if I can find some more. I used to do books, the little mini books for teenagers and I used to go to the Dollar Tree and get their clothes and if they look decent and I could incorporate them on a page, a scrapbook page, yes, and uh, you know you could put a picture there but when I do this, I'm using, this is the Heidi Swap paper. And it's that paper that you actually run through your, um, that heat thing. And it changes it to gold or whatever color you put on there. I was going to do this gold, but I also have ribbon that I'm using. Uh, different size gold ribbon that I'm using to finish this book off. So as I do the pages, I will come back and show you this series. So it will be a Ferris wedding book series. I'm going to do the cover everything. Every time I do a page or a cover or, you know, something like that, I will. Um, let me move this stuff so that you can see all of the stuff that I'm dealing with right now. This does not necessarily mean that's all that will go on that page, but I have not even decided what size book it is. So I've just been collecting black, whites, um, or the gold. I've been making the wax seals. I'll have to do an updated video on there. Um, I think I already showed you all how to do that, but if you want another tutorial, I don't know on wax seals what else you would do. I think I showed you all uh, how I use uh, glue sticks and crayons, yeah, um, to make the wax seals, and they come out just as well. And you could change the colors to whatever color you want, and just use. Matter of fact, you could use almost anything to color uh, your glue and it was another product I can't remember so since I'm not doing that now I'll have to go over it again refresh it but this is one of my projects this is uh, I already have it in my book this is a wedding a Ferris wedding book project um, so I'm gonna put this down here and then I want to show y'all something I think one day I was looking at someone's video and I either read my comments I don't know anyway someone had these these two lines pins and they were by Mr. Pins I purchased them I went to Amazon and purchased them but I want to show you how they write they come and if this is a Let's see. This is good, great for journaling, especially if you do Bible journaling and such. But it's six pins. And if you look at the nibs, 
I don't know if you can see that. Can you? There's two little nibs in here. Can you see that? <laughs> Wait. Maybe if I put something white behind it, it'll focus on it. Hold on. Let me, let's do this. <laughs> uh, yeah, can you see it now? I know. There's two little nibs on there. Maybe it's, it's trying to focus. Okay, there you go. And they're each two different color. I mean, they're they're a color in black. And let's see what they write like. This one is that burgundy color and no, they're two different colors. That color and this color. Let's see what it does. Let me go. Can I do this? Yeah, let me go in some, and let's see how this writes. Miss D at D's special things. And it does, and see what it does there? I don't know if you could see the two lines, but okay. These were something like $5.47 for the six pins. So I went ahead, I, I figured for that price, they probably would not ink very well. Okay, here is a red and black one. Let's try that. This is a test. Can you see that? So yeah, if you just want to write notes or just highlight, you could doodle with them. Yeah, so for that price, instead of trying to do the lines and stuff like that, that calligraphy kind of stuff, yeah, you can actually use these two lines pins but like I said I think I got them from if, if I don't exactly remember what the price was but they were probably about mm, no more than six dollars you guys okay let me put my camera back where it was yeah I got a lot of stuff going on here yeah so that's these pins um yeah if you just like doing that kind of writing and then I think it's great for the Bible the person that does Bible journaling so yeah that's on my workstation and I will probably have to uh, come back and show you what I did with that but I also wanted to do a this is mixed media stuff but this is do, putting a art journal uh, a art journal I mean one of these junk journals together and I had worked on this started this I don't know how long ago. I love the minions. Okay, so you know that. Uh, so I had started this book, gosh, I don't know how long ago. And I just never finished putting it together. Well, that, look for a video on how I put it together because I still have not actually put the book together. I haven't used it. I haven't done any of that kind of stuff but I want to do this one I do want to do this one because I like the minions yeah but um and I'll put that together using the front and the back of the book so you actually get the entire story in there this is a little golden book and you'll still get the entire story and you'll get places to write put little tags all of that kind of stuff but what I'm going to do and what I'd like for you all to look for in the near future is I found these at Dollar Tree and 
I wanted to, at first I was thinking just take the little pages and cut the doodads out and I could make me some faith books with them. That is a good idea. Um, I like the fact that it has words, a lot of words on it that I can cut out and use if I decided to do it that way. I like Dear God. I like the Dear God letters, but I actually have the paper pads somewhere that I got probably 20 years ago uh, from the Dollar Tree um, with the Dear God little things that I could actually use in my books. But I plan to do, I'm showing you that book to show you. I've already taken it apart here. And I plan to actually use this the same way. Let me see if I could back up some because if, no, not that way, this way. If by chance I can't, I might have to push my um, camera up some. But right now I'm not going to play with it because I don't want to mess it up, you guys. So this is a project that I want to do. I want to make a journal out of it and keep the pages intact. Um, yeah, so I'll have to come back and show you guys what I do with this. I'll probably do it online as a t live tutorial or something. I think that would be a great thing to do. So watch out for that. I'm not going to show you guys lots and lots of stuff, but I'm doing the raffle. I'm going to try to do it within, uh, I can't say, maybe the 4th of July weekend, this upcoming weekend, maybe I can actually raffle her off. I should by then have her lace put on her. I'll have her fully decorated, um, packaged and ready to go. I The scissors should be here too. Um, so yeah, I'll have to show you her once the lace is done, but that will be one of the giveaways that I will honestly, honestly for sure do. And, um, oh, I wanted to know, and if you want to leave me a message, you can leave it in the comments if you want. I'd like to actually find someone I, I um, that would like to swap. But here's the deal. You have to live on the opposite side or somewhere so far away from me, like mid-country or western, yeah, or all the way south. Uh, south, not southeast, southwest, yeah, like in Texas or something. I'd like to do a swap, and this, this is the swap right here. I'd like two different versions of the mini brands. Um, only the Series 1 or Series 2 because they have the food in it. I think the other brands are like fairies and stuff like that so uh, many brands series one or two this is one or two i like to swap this out with someone because um someone that lives far from me because i like to get some different ones i think that i have collected all of them that i possibly want but i'll be doing a um many brands series uh this month, this is July already, you guys. Can you believe it? Yeah, but it is um, already. Oh, my gosh. My days went fast. And a lot of the time, I was in pain. My hands just hurt me to the point where I couldn't, you know. So, yeah, some days I just didn't feel like it. And some days when I didn't feel like it, I just sat and did little stuff, you guys. Um, Just, you know... Matter of fact, I couldn't do the cutouts. And then sometimes it felt good to try to use my hands because then I'd bend them and they really hurt in my joints. Yeah. But anyway, my appointment is at 1 o'clock and that's why I'm sitting here just kind of chit-chatting with you guys. I'm going to upload this video today, but it's going to be mostly about stuff that I have on my workstation. Um, another thing that I have, somebody asked me about my pens. I actually use all the time, and that's because I love, absolutely love, love, love these pens. I know I've been using them for probably over 20 years, probably. Let's say 15, 
if I'm wrong. <laughs> but that's the signal pins. And I started using these. Um, I started using these pins. I think for work. Yeah, at work. And then I started ordering my own. And I love these pins because they write on paint. But you do have to make sure the paint is dry. Or you mess up your pins. My favorite one is the black. And these are the... I actually have to... These are some little letters on here. UM 153s, yeah. These are the UM 153s. I have I don't care what other kind of pen I use. I always get the white ones, these, because because in the beginning, when you look back and you think about all the things that you bought to get to the right um to get to the right product that you're looking for, sometimes you really do spend some money. But this is my favorite white pen and normally and I keep a lot of them I get my pens from uh, jetpens.com I have been ordering from here all of my a lot of my pens and stuff um, for just calligraphy writing yes they have the and I think because they're mostly Japanese brands um, I really love their pens and I specifically like this one but I also have this one in a fine and it's a I have I think I have all these pens also in fines but another cool thing that I like and I buy a lot of is and I keep them well I have them in my storage but when I keep a bunch in here so when I'm doing projects I could just actually reach for this whole thing um when i'm doodling i use these for my diane reevely books uh my in journal inserts you know like the black books the <sighs> it's quite a few of those journals out there but this is the goal these pens write so fluent um, they flow is what I mean. Fluent, yeah, I guess that would be it. Yes, I don't care what you write on with them. The only thing I say is, is let the ink dry first before you close your book up. Let's see, I think I have some pages that I've done using those pens. Ah, yeah, stuff that is another that's another project to finish but here are some art journals that are actually that i've put together um let's see obviously I mean, these are projects yes because these are finished pages um this is the front of this book that i've actually started to oh yeah i've used those pens on so these are starts of books one day. I'll finish this one up. It only have yeah, I'm gonna have to do that. I'm gonna have to do a mixed media project here. I'm gonna complete this book. See how many projects I have? I have so many projects, you guys, that I wanna just finish. But yeah, I use these pens a lot because um they're awesome. They work well. I don't usually have a lot of problems with them. My white ones, they usually, the ink usually flows throughout the life of the, the pen. Mm, um, and they do go far. The ink, it's enough ink in there to go pretty far. But you, if you, you're doing doodling like this right here, you can use this pen up quite fast. Yeah, so... Anywho, I do have lots of these in that black, thin black, because I like to also doodle with that to define the white lines. So, yeah. 
they actually, and that has gold on it too, that has the white and the gold, so yeah. But this is the silver. You can actually do a whole project using this, these two pens, silver with silver and gold. Okay, you could do a, <laughs> yeah, I love these pens, so those are pens that I use all the time and sometimes when I do giveaways or I just send out uh, happy mail I actually send out something like this a gold yeah a gold a white and a silver pen with a black book I'm gonna start making because I got lots of this black paper uh the watercolor paper and the cotton press paper is it cotton press i don't even know names now you guys so bear with me but yeah i usually do that as a little gift pack so a person could actually just sit and doodle with those color pens if they haven't used them i'll have to remember like i told you guys some of this stuff i should have written down as i talked to you but i think i can recollect and while i'm at the doctor's office i'll just take my tablet with me and write down hey look you know what she was already almost ready to go huh but uh yeah, I'll have to take my book with me and, you know, rethink some of the thoughts that I had as far as what I wanted to do. But you guys know I like letters. I like words. So I was in, I know I recently bought these. I was in Michael's. This is, I haven't been in Michael's in some months now. But I did go to Michael's and I saw these. They were on sale for 50 cent a piece. So... Um, and I use my little, <laughs> I think she even let me use my discount. Yeah. But anyway, I paid like half the price for them almost. Um, so I got all they had because they were all different word letters. But you guys, when you are find letters like this and you want to send them to, um, Stephanie, but you only have a G. <laughs> You could make this the cutest ever letter without it representing her. It could be gratitude on this whole thing. Or it could be wisdom. And you have stamps. You have your tissue paper. You could make your own words. Yep. So I am going to do that with these. I have different letters. But uh, I think I put the rest of them in the project basket. So I'm going to see what I come up with these. But you guys know how I use the other words from the Target dollar spot. Like imagine. And I took words and put on them. Same concept. Little letters. And then two. I'm going to just have them represent the one word. Any word like starts with the W. Uh, wisdom. Um, think of some more words. Wise. Uh, same thing, right? Uh <laughs> Yeah, I'll think of some words. And with a G2, uh, gratitude, greatness, uh, gosh, I can't think right now. But same with N or whatever letter I use because I want it to be a cute different project. So I like that idea of taking the letters and putting words on it. So yeah, I'll do that. Um, another project that I have, and I came across this in my she shed, and I have not <sighs> finished this like forever in a day. But you guys remember these hands? They're out of the. Ooh, look where I bought this. I bought this, and from Ross for seven ninety nine. And is that twenty fourteen? <laughs> I think so. But anyway, I made. I started one of these one time before and I used to do my dangles. That's why I, I think I have one that's totally finished. And I use a bunch of washi tape and rub-ons. Well, I want to finish doing this out because what I did was I think it, it broke. I chipped it right here. So I went ahead and decoupaged some of the washi tape. And this is pretty much all washi tape and... Um, this will be a mixed media project, yes. You could get this hand. I think most of them are black now, but 
you could get this out of the jewelry department in Michael's or Joann's or yeah it's similar to this is some of them do different things but and you could probably go on Amazon and purchase it too I wouldn't know the price because I went to Ross to get it so I haven't been in Ross in a minute um and this I bought in Maryland somewhere probably yeah I think so in 2014 so yeah but th this kind of stuff is still out there I'm just taking it and I'm going to make some dangles that's something I have not done I have not done any jewelry stuff so I think I'm going to do that and have that be a project but you guys you'll have to actually look for these projects because if I mention it here maybe you want to jot down some notes to see what I have upcoming I do have a project that I want to use um these products that I found at the Dollar Tree so it is if you see some of the projects that I've done or I'm doing maybe if you have the uh, products too you can play along with but anyway these are two of the little I like these little things they're um, some of the little perpetual uh, perpetual calendars what are they called I don't know <laughs> it doesn't say but yeah and you take the little blocks out and you can do each day of the month every day of the year and um, I want to cover them up I like focus on the good but I think I want to copy that <sighs> um, put it on that tissue paper put another background on here you do the little pieces at least around here I want to make it cute and I, you know like you could put it in your little it could be just like a nameplate or a calendar on your desk and or you could put it in your kitchen and put the little mini brand food <laughs> up there focus on the good yeah uh, you could put coffee up there I could see a, today is a good day this would be a great one with coffee you could make this and send it to somebody put a cup of coffee in you know your little tea and stuff like that how cute would that be you could even use the even these little things on the top of there are uh, and i'm just finding stuff as we speak um you could do it for a <clears throat> a food lover and these are little yeah things that you can put on there these are buttons are what charms yeah these are just little charms I got bunches of those but I don't know where or you could just do it for the person the kitchen person or for the tea person uh, so many different ideas that you can use with this so you'll have to come back when I do the little tutorial I think because I have my camera working now, I'm actually going to <clears throat> start just sitting here and you have to bear with me I'll get projects to do and I could do them step by step but yeah and if you want you could just sit and watch another idea that I had and this is also a Dollar Tree idea I want to make a journal but I want the front of the journal I bought this